Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jace, and with the plethora of smartwatches that have been released as of late, it's hard not to get excited. But they do all have one thing in common, or most of them, and that's that they are designed to augment and accompany your smartphone. But when do we get to the point where the smartwatch can begin to replace your smartphone altogether? That's what Samsung has tried to do, or at least begin to do, with the Gear S smartwatch. So let's look at the pros and cons. Among the pros are that there's no need to carry two mobile devices. And second, you'll stand out from the crowd with the Gear S. And finally, a phone or phone replacement that reportedly has two days of battery life. Now the cons, low resolution, 360 by 480. The two inch display isn't ideal for media consumption and gaming. Tizen has considerably fewer apps than Android and modest specs and modest storage space. Now I could imagine some uncomfortable moments in public with this smartwatch slash phone. Hello. Just called to say I love you. Look, I'm shooting right say now. Say the word. I see it. I love you, burger dead. I love you, burger dead. I give you kisses. I love you, burger dead. Bye bye. Have fun with your friends. Shut up. Now, to be fair, those are the rumored specs surrounding the Gear S and its attempt to replace your smartphone. But a guy can hope, right? Now, moving on to news surrounding the Galaxy Note 4 and its fingerprint scanning features. The Note 4 will reportedly include screen lock, private mode, Samsung account verification, and PayPal payments, all features present on the S5 and the Alpha, and made possible by the same Synaptics Natural ID swipe-based fingerprint sensor found in both devices. Among the new features is the fingerprint shortcuts, which lets you assign a shortcut to a specific app or piece of functionality. For instance, swiping your index finger could take you straight to the camera, while using your thumb could unlock the phone. Now to be fair, this feature is said to be linked to certain services and apps, and not necessarily uh, meant to be a total replacement for your password protection, like many of you might be hoping for. Now, one of the most common questions we get here in Android Authority is, what is the best mid-range Android phone? Well, HTC is hoping that you will consider the HTC Desire 510. So what can we expect from the device? In addition to the Snapdragon 410 CPU, the Desire offers a one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage, a micro SD card slot, five megapixel rear facing camera, and a 2100 milliamp hour battery. LTE, Android KitKat out of the box, and a 4.7 inch display with a resolution of 854 times 480. Now besides that painfully bad resolution, the Desire 510 could, if priced correctly, compete with the Moto G. We can hope. Now for those of you who lusted after the LG G3 but didn't like the flagship price tag, you might want to consider the LG Stylus. It's all about the pen, people. LG has made the G3 Stylus fairly priced by taking the LG G3 and performing a few downgrades to get it into the budget mid-range of devices. The equipped 5.5 inch IPS display is 960 x 540 resolution instead of the 2560 x 1440 of the full G3. You'll also find one gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage, and a 13 megapixel camera on top of a whopping 3000 milliamp hour battery, all powered by Android 4.4.2. Thanks for watching, Edward Army. My name is Jace, and I thought I would end off by uh, responding to the whole uh, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge nominations. I got a number of them, thank you for thinking of me. And it is certainly a worthwhile cause, needs lots of donations for uh, the research. Uh, it's, a, it's a nasty uh, condition, and I hope that it gets the research that it needs. However, uh, I have worked with three charities in the past, and most of them, not all, and in many cases, but not all, uh, the money that is donated is not spent the way that I might like. And uh, that's one. And number two, 
uh, I mean, the Ice Bucket Challenge has like just taken over and I suspect, I don't want to make a judgment, but I suspect that some people are doing it because it's the thing to do, not because they genuinely care about donating to ALS. I mean, a lot of people don't even know that that was the point. So I have chosen charities that I donate to, one in particular, but I work with that charity on a first-hand basis, so I know where that money goes, and that's just how I want to be effective. So, you don't want to forget about my brothers here, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin, Lon, and Chris, all working hard to deliver the best Android content on the web. And we got to finish off that you only have a few more hours before I shoot the last Android Q&A that will deal with the great leap forward. I gave a huge hint in uh, last week's Android Q&A. So you might have a few more hours to deliver the best answer. Someone already has got it. They gave a good answer. It was a lengthy answer. It was well thought out. But you might be able to give a better answer. So don't give up. There's only a few hours left to win that $50 Google Play gift card. See you next week. Mm -hmm.